welcome back to the Colvin Experience. Today we're headed back to the Hilltop Garage. We're gonna put the car up on a lift. I'm gonna try to adjust the linkage on the transmission. And uh, I think we're going to take stock on some of the things that we can get to now underneath the car. More of kind of a chassis chat that we haven't had in a while at that point. And then we're gonna post another video. Uh, I'm gonna review one of the cars that are up there. Not sure which car at this point, but uh, we're gonna pick one and uh, we're gonna kick off that series. So come along and stay tuned. And thanks for subscribing and thanks for liking. back up at the hilltop car barn we're gonna put the car up on the lift So now that we've got the car up, we're going to go underneath it and uh, Jay Leno style, we're going to take a look of it underneath, point out the good and the bad, and get a plan. Coming under the front, a little bit of deteriorating on the fiberglass, missing screw there you can actually see some of the original Daytona blue which I can't wait to get it back to Daytona blue there's the radiator if I come to the driver's side I'll replace these, replace the shocks and the springs. I restored the spindle while I was working through the brakes. So I completely rebuilt the brake drums. We've got some buildup back here. That's the old brake fluid buildup. There was a leak in one of the cylinders on this side and on the other side. 
Uh, let's see, underneath the frame, a little beat up, but not too bad. Still original, which I like. Underneath the radiator looks pretty good. Here we go. There's your new, new shock, new coil, restored spindle, and it doesn't look like there's any leaking from the brake lines, which is great. These are new. And then so are the bushings. This is the original. Check it out. Delco Pro. Now I can finally see the number on it. All right. These are not original uh, mufflers, of course, and exhaust. I replaced, I put the original canister type uh, oil filter on it. Okay, so we've got some leaking over here. There is something going on to where the flywheel is rubbing on this. So I've got these two out for now, so it doesn't have the noise. There's an oil drip coming here, but it looks like it's coming down from somewhere. Where would that be? find it. Right. Tons of leaking here. Got to get a new seal there. And drop this. I can drop it now. How about that? Carrier. Looks to be in good shape. This is where the exhaust. I can get some fumes coming out of here. That's where it is. It's not welded like that one. It's got this. Lots of grease build up here. And that's from transmission. Parking brake assembly is not as bad as I thought it would be. This is the bracket for the gas pedal. I replaced that. Someone just put uh, screws right through the floor. I'll do some glass work there. Some cracking there, some glass work there. Actually, I can come over here and see this glass work. I fixed it from the inside, hadn't gone underneath it. This is all of a patch. I'm gonna take this all down and do it the right way. And I can do it while it's up here. So I'm gonna pan back a little bit and do another walk through. And start some work. All right, for the first time we're underneath the car. Good. We're gonna go for tightening, we're gonna tighten this up. We're gonna check the half shaft connections. I replaced the shocks, and then I'm gonna tighten the drive shaft a bit. And uh, maybe where the transmission meets up to the clutch. So here we are. We got the car jacked up, and now we're gonna assess some things. Brad, he's not listening. <laughs> what is? <laughs> okay, we're gonna get to some work here. Hanging out at the uh, Hilltop Car Barn with uh, my buddy Paul and Jeff is just, just too much. I didn't capture any of that on here. It's just chatting with these guys. All right, so while we're here, let's do a quick tightening of these bolts. See what we can figure out on these half shafts. 
figure out some frame stuff. I know I'm being really technical today, aren't I? As you can see, I replaced the um, fuel sending unit. That was the issue for the fuse keep, uh, the top 10 amp fuse keep burning out or melting as it's called. Underneath here we can see uh, the new brake lines that I've put in. The shims are okay. Uh, I don't see any cracking on the frame. And I haven't been able to see the frame underneath in this direction for a while. They put hangers, they had side pipes on this car at one point in time. That one's coming. It's still pretty good, but you can tell there's some rust. Um, I've got leaking, and uh, it's from the differential. You have to address that now that I can with lifting this up. I've got uh, this side has obviously been repaired. Looks pretty good. These are new trailing arms. This one is. And this one is, so that's good news. The back has been freshened up. Right, now we just come further, we'll go further to the front. Here's where we got some leaking from the differential. We've got access to those bolts now some frame mounts leaking out of the transmission now I can finally see the source of where that was coming from this is where The gear shifter is coming up through the boot. And now I can see how to replace that. What's important to me is getting to the linkage, which is here. We got some, look at that. Let's figure that part out. This could be why it slips out of gear. There's whatever I just saw. So we got some motion out of here. So, Okay, we're just gonna do some tightening. That's all we're gonna do. All right, coming further up. I restored the exhaust manifolds. I started adding parts needed around um, the spark plugs, the sheathing, it's a new brake line, there it is there, at least I've got it in the clip, could do some better bending on it.
Okay folks, I did a lot of tightening on what I could reach and now I can see really where the problems are. are. I've got a couple projects to work on. Anywhere that there's a seal, it's leaking. So a lot of that's typical to these older cars that just haven't been maintained. And I really don't know when the last time the transmission was rebuilt or the engine uh, clutch was rebuilt or restored. Um, so we're just going to work on that next. I and we have some uh, leaking coming out of the differential. It's spitting out left and right. Because you can see that, it's an easy cause to figure out. And we got confirmation that, for the most part, the rear end is updated and that the frame is pretty solid where it typically falls apart on these mid-year cars. So I finished, I guess, tinkering around underneath the car now that it's up. And we will return many times to get to these little projects that we found. A lot of leaking and seals and maybe some alignment stuff, but not much really. And not hard stuff either. I'm enjoying walking back to the car and seeing it up in the air like that. Because we finally have gotten access. So enjoy the view. We're going to put it back down. And the next video you see from me is going to be a review of one of the cars in the barn.